Hello friends, this is Brain from GameBrain.media. We are going to play Mudrunner again. We are finishing up the... Well, this is part two of the video I made previously about Mudrunner with Reshade. Reshade is a graphics mod. Um, in my last video, which is on the screen now in YouTube, you can go watch that, um, I talked about Reshade versus the Adega mod. Reshade is version 5.5 of the Reshade project. And the Adega mod was built upon version 4.5. I thought I might be able to achieve better results with 5.5, and I did. I came up with a beautiful, photorealistic... Um, uh, 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 reshade. <laughs> uh, I used Reshade 5.5, and I made a truck look fantastic. Like, so good. The lighting, the reflections, the shadows, the curvature, and the color, and the saturation, and the brightness, and everything was just fucking tuned in really nice. Now, what was interesting there is when I when I had a close-up on the vehicle, it looked spectacular. When I zoomed around and looked at the, the terrain, it wasn't so good. So I took the truck, and I parked it in front of the terrain, and then I, I kept like changing stuff, and I came up with a truck that looked almost photorealistic, and then... Uh, the background, the trees, the leaves, the branches, the, the grass, the rocks looked super awesome. So I tried to make a video like, hey, let me recreate that. And well, actually, then I installed the Adega mod on top of Reshade 5.5, assuming that Adega would adopt the 5.5 settings and I would get my awesome custom photorealistic looking rig and uh, and, and forest. And that didn't happen. Uh Everything just turned pink when I when I set to my custom reshade model, or dot any, uh, dot any file initiation file, um, and it didn't work, man. And it made me cry like a little girl. Um, no, I was I was really unhappy. And I, but when I especially when I tried to recreate that on camera and I'm like I jacked with all the mods or all the settings. But here we are, um, having run reshade 5.5 and customized it to get it looking much better than vanilla, but in the end, just get the Adega mod. All right, so now what we're going to do is, um, right, so I, I want to show you this this scene right now. Over here on the left-hand side, you can see these are the items that I doinked around with in Reshade. And at the top, under Home, Add-on, Settings, you can see the name GameBrain. So that was my save file. I made a GameBrain.ini for um, Reshade 5.5. And then I, in Reshade 5.5, I only use these particular filters or shaders or whatever the hell they're called, options. Technicolor, SMA, going up from the bottom, LumaSharp and Levels, HDR, FXAA, DPX, now, and, and Color Matrix. Now, SMAA was... Eh, it was in there when I was doing the, when I when I made that, uh, when I when I when I messed around with those settings offline, but in order to get back to zero, I I, I don't know, man. I'm an amateur video maker. I'm just trying to show you my experiences. Here here we are. <laughs> I dicked around 5.5. I came up with something cool, and uh, later it didn't it didn't look so cool. Um, I think. There you go. Here's where I'm switching between Game Brain, Any, and Reshade preset. So here's vanilla. Custom shader. Oh, okay. Let's see what's here. Just, just this is nowhere there, near there the photorealism right. that I had going on. So that's on the Game Brain, Any, after I vehicle, or jacked around with all my settings. settings. Um, applied Reshade. And then, and there we, it is with the Reshade preset. It's vanilla, like this, but I got it to look like this. But that is nowhere near what I had created when I was not running video. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and jump into skipping Reshade 5.5 because I couldn't get it to look as good as what this guy did. Oops, not that guy. This guy. At Go to mudrunnermods.com or just search the internet. Realistic graphics, Adega mod pack. You don't even have to do all that. Just put in Adega Mod 5. You'll you'll get this in the search results, click it, and install it, and you're going to be happy. Um, 
what this gives you is a mod installation and an installation for uh, the spin tires mod version 1.10.17 that plus the Adega mod uh, v5.2 allows you to play online multiplayer and everybody has fantastic looking vehicles we all have access to the mo uh, mod tools because we're all in the same versions except mod tools no longer work I mean I've had them working on this map West Virginia for Jakarta but I can't get them working now I don't know why and how and what but who cares let's jump into it uh, the realistic dirt mod is something I wanted to install and forgot to install for this video um, it's a beautiful mod if you can see how much mud is on this truck it sticks it doesn't just magically evaporate like the water does the game does splash mud and water on your truck but it evaporates this I mean the mud it's not coming off unless you get caught in the rain or go to the car wash uh, so the realistic dirt mod is fantastic the zip file that comes out of this is called true dirt if you look down here there are two links don't use the bottom one your antivirus software will go off but that's only because they're trying to download a RAR via but it but it's falsely tagged as an HTML or some bullshit who knows uh, but this one works okay so let's not dick around with that because we don't have that going on right now and let's get into it launching the game mud runner here we are in our last episode um, it was nighttime and I drove the orange truck out here um, attempting to catch up to the, uh, the other two trucks that are left out, but really, it's just a it's just a demonstration. Well, if I can catch up to those other trucks, this, this is a, an area that we went through two or three times, uh, at least twice. With, uh, Man, is my shift not working? Let's so try to get this, uh, oh, this beginning, beginning point of a trail. It's so ridiculous and hard. So what's killing me about using the wheel is, well, I love the wheel, but it's not for me today. Some days in the past, when I had it installed, it worked. And uh, this truck's going nowhere, dude. So let's go ahead and advance. Stop the engine. Shut up, truck. And let's go to um, the map and activate the Red Samurai. Shit, could have done the, the white truck. At least this truck's quiet. I really don't need blah, 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 blah. I know it's cool for about five minutes, but then, uh, then I've had enough. Okay, I have that snorkel. Yeah, I don't want to split tire. We're not going that far. We're not going to get jacked. And I don't want to stop. Okay. I just want to catch up to those other two trucks. And then maybe we can take those other two trucks and go forward a little bit. Uh, because in part one of the video... Oh, well, shit, you know what? I don't even need to do that, right? All I need to do is... Yeah, look at the samurai just walking all over this orange truck. This orange jeep. Sorry, dude, but, uh... You ain't getting it. Alright, I mean, we didn't go real far in those other vehicles. It got dark on us, and then, uh... Just trying to hook a tire around. Yo! Oh, oh! And guess what? We got no winch. 
But, <laughs> oddly enough, the truck I was just making fun of is sitting right there waiting to help us out. Chain truck to this guy. Oh, I'm not even close enough? Can you believe this? <laughs> oh, well, my rear axle is just completely... He, he's, he's hosed. God, what a pain in the ass. Alright, fuck this shit. Uh, it's not a very interesting video. I mean, unless you've never tried to rescue a truck, if you're in multiplayer and you, you and somebody else get stuck like this, and you're really far away from the turn point, then, you know, that might be a thing. But for this shit, just give me back to the garage, man. That change, 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 change. I don't want to change. Recovering garage. Yeah, get me the fuck out of here. Stop the engine. Let's just jump in this guy. See what happens. We left him parked there before because I really didn't care for this truck. Once I tried to get up this first waterfall, he, he wasn't cutting it. So we went back and got the Bronco, and we made it up there. But, yep, we did have to winch. It's part of the deal, sometimes. All right, so, that's what this Toyota looks like. Um, never, never really thought of a Toyota um, pickup like this, but I do like it. Uh, I'm waiting for the mud to evaporate. Since we don't have the mud mod installed, I figured that grayness would go away a lot quicker than it has. Okay, we must have a lot better gearing and suspension than that orange Jeep because this guy's getting it. And we might just go right past the Suzuki. Or if we can get up on top, and we can get the Suzuki to tip over on some wheels. Okay, so let's go. Honestly, I don't care. If I have to take this guy and winch it to the top, I'm going to do so. Oh! So yeah, when you're running a wheel, and a mouse, <laughs> and a keyboard to winch, it gets a little busy. dropped over the cliff. Now I can turn around. Think about this guy. Okay, now that we have a power takeoff, since we have a power takeoff, we can only winch while we're under under power. So when I'm sitting at idle, what's happening here? My truck is stalled? Let me get out of... No! Oh, oh, I'm gonna tip it! Oh, I'm gonna tip it! And I tipped it. <laughs> well, now I'm screwed on two fronts. Ah, <sighs> well... Only thing to do with these guys is rescue back to the garage or try to pull that orange truck out. 
So that's not really interesting. So let's go here. Let's see. Ta-da. Um, so here's, yeah, this is basically the last screenshot from the reshade to the Adega mod. And honestly, that dude had a whole lot more knowledge. Whoever created the Adega mod, props. He's got a thousand times more knowledge on which specific settings to change to make things look like this. However, it doesn't look real photo photorealistic on my screen. It looks kind of cartoony and video gamey, but still very good. Um, you know, obviously rendered 3D objects, but, you know, it looks pretty damn good. Um, let's see, Modern Armor Maniac has some thumbnails that look superior to this in every way. And I have to wonder if he's using post-processing effects on, on, the, on the thumbnail. I'll have to ask him about that. Because um, I'm learning about that in, uh, what's it called, Assetto Corsa. Now, in the past, I've I made racetracks that had to be rendered for a, just a spectacular difference of three-dimensionality and shag shadows and shading and, and reflection and stuff um, out of 3D Studio Max. And, anyway, this looks pretty freaking awesome. And as long as we're here, let's go ahead and bounce into the other truck. But, let's go around to the front. And look at some of the details here. We can see... PBC on the steering stabilizer on the front axle. We can see the Toyota, we can see the Land Cruiser badges, but, you know, when I was messing around with stuff, it, it really got three-dimensional and shadowed, and, uh, like, it, it, it was clearly a... had That Land Cruiser badge on the front fender had depth. Um, oh, man. Except I was using a blue... Blue or gray version. No, I think a blue version. Anyway, the tires were different looking too. But it's pretty goddamn spectacular though, isn't it? Um, let's see, advanced end. Uh, change shock. Advanced. Boom. Go. So the Adega mod is just a simple Simon tool. Install it and run it, and it looks good. Okay, I'm try to slow my roll. I don't know if I want to go through like six more reboots and trying to change from one version. I don't know if it's like the sequence of events that I install. I installed Spintar's mod first, and then the Adega mod, and then I ran the game, and it worked with this at some point. I think that was my sequence of events. Now for this, I installed Mudrunner, I ran it, then I installed the Adega mod, I ran it, made sure that it took, made sure that it was properly installed, and then I ran Spintar's mod, and then I ran that, and because Spintar's mod came after Adega mod, it's not active in this game. I can't get it. To so, so irritating. And we're having this Bronco. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, wait. Let me try to get my camera. Stabilized. Boom, it worked! Woohoo!
ability to winch just a little bit. Just a little bit to get me over the hump. It was so awesome. And also, I had my stick working because without the spin mod, uh, my wheel and stick is not working. So. left here. Let's see if I can get out of that hole. There we go. I think that's going to get it. Yeah! That's it. Okay, now. Change to camera. And we're climbing those. Bam! Slam! Yeah, this is not Realistic. There's a guy called Realistic Fishing. I swear to God, it could be Mortar Man. But it's not, because that guy lives in Missouri. <laughs> Maniacs in Canada. However, they could be brothers. Probably long lost cousins or some shit. Ever watch realistic fishing on uh, YouTube? You know what I'm watch the Water and Mania. These guys are talking about, hey, it's not very realistic, but I have to go watch. Come on, man. Uh, a lot of these maps and trails are completely unrealistic. Uh, bam! Bam, bitch! We're here! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna. Oh, man. I'm gonna throw it right there. Put on the parking brake. Okay, bam, bam, bam. And turn off the lights. Kill the engine. And we're going to go to F1. And jump back into the... Oh, not that one. Jump into the yellow beast. Turn on the headlights. And, you know, what I want to do is give you give you a chance to see the difference between what I dicked around with and came up with using the Adega mod, or I'm sorry, using just Reshade 5.5 versus just install the Adega mod with 4.5, uh, Reshade 4.5. It, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? I mean, that's, to me, that's a pretty badass screenshot right there. Alright, so, here we are, and uh, I'm guessing that some time actually passed in the game because I pause it. Look at this! Oh man, I really need a little more distance from the truck. That's... That's very realistic with the lighting. Jesus, man, that's just beautiful. Yeah, here we go. Now, let's do it without the headlights. Uh, it loses a little bit of its luster, doesn't it? Okay, let's try half one. Let's try to flex. Yeah, I just give me a little bit of extra grip there. Get that old tire locked. There it is, there it is. Woo! Pop! Yeah! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm just... Uh, I, I'm, I'm so loving this, I just want to... Stop dicking around with mods. And, uh... I mean, really, I've just only messed around with the, the mud mod. Which I'm going to reinstall. Um, to me, that that's a pretty worthwhile mod. It looks really cool. But the Adega mod is a bomb, dude. And I think I heard Motor Maniac say that in one of his videos. It was fun to mess around with, but when it ended up costing me reinstallation of the entire game, and then figuring out how to get to, you know, users, app data, roaming, and delete the settings that it kept trying to reinstall, I wanted to start over from ground zero. And I finally was able to get there, Took a lot of, it took a lot of doing. 
I swear to God, six reboots if, if not more. Oh, boy. Okay, um, my camera's not... That boy just ain't right. Okay, sorry. We're okay. gonna have to go this way. Before we go that way. Oh! Not quite getting there. Oh, there it is. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Does whatever a spider can. Catches thieves just like flies. I can't remember the rest of the words. Remembered more than I expected, though. Hey, man. Here comes Spider-Man. Watch out. Here comes Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I, uh, I saw Maniac's video, the man Terra. I told him it needs a Spider-Man paint job, because that thing climbs like a spider. All right, now, let's see. If we go off to the left real hard, I think we're going to be able to bounce onto... Uh, I thought we could, yeah, get around to the left a little easier than that, but... So, a lot of my early struggles here were the fact that the trucks just weren't as capable as these two. And I was driving a little obnoxiously. Uh, I'm going to have to watch my last video and see if I, if I was running mod tools. Oh, I don't think I was, because I was really panicked that I was going to uh, roll that black truck and wouldn't have any way to rescue it other than fly back to the garage. Let's kill the fox. Shifting. Weight shifter. narrow section gives you a pinch on the old axle. And here we are. Oh. Oh, I got a roly-poly underneath me. And I'm kind of like high-sided on this middle rock. Or high-centered. Yeah, high-sided is a dirt bike term when you're, uh, hardcore down into the berm and you catch too much traction and you flip over the high side. I guess it happens on, on uh, happens on street racing, more so on street racing also to get high centered or high sided. You're leaning down into a turn, you start grab too much traction and whoop, you just flip off, bike stands up, pew, you're going like a catapult. High centered is the appropriate word. <laughs> Heard a friend say that. He knows who he is. I centered. I can't just. I'm a dirt biker, street biker, so high sided. <sighs> so it's been in my vernacular. Don't make me get out of this truck. There it is. Ta-da! Okay, now, you just stay right there. And, bam. Q. 
can I zoom out enough? Oh, let's see. Advanced. Change truck. And I'm going to leave that truck running. Jump in this truck. Turn on the headlights. Spin around. Ah, oh, no. The headlights turned off. So let's go back to settings. That's one of the settings in... Yeah. It's one of the settings in uh, Spin Tires Mod that you can leave the headlights on with your secondary truck because a lot of times you'll have to, you know... Is there anything here? No, no. Um, a lot of times, if you're out in the woods and one truck gets stuck, you need the other truck to shine their headlights on the stuck truck so y'all can see what's going on. Oh, wow. And he, look at this. He's not really got the same kind of lighting as that... Uh, as the Jeep, or as the, uh, to 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 Toyota, yeah. Let's go to Advanced, change truck. Bam, we're back here, and now his lights are not on. And boom, look at the way this guy's lights shine the compared to how uh, the other guy's lights are shining. I can't zoom out any further than that, but uh, honestly, warning, all wheels diff locks, and without the steam, without steam, Showing uh, the steam HUD. That'll actually make a pretty cool looking screenshot, I think. I'm not much into the selfies, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it. And the truck looks cool. Let's see. Park and break off. Hey, I wanted to get the uh I wanted to get the accent twisted. Some flex, but I'm not that much about it. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of looks awesome. Warning: all wheels diff locks required. All right, at least there's two trucks, right? Ching. All right, so that's enough of that. I wanted to make a short video and catch up on the Adega mod. And you know what? I'm gonna try. I, I'm gonna try to. God damn! I don't want to do it. I want to get um, uh, uh, Dev Tools working here. It, I had it working here recently, and so I, I might be away for a while dicking around with that. Otherwise, I'll be playing Assetto Corsa or some really old games that I've been trying to resurrect on my PC. That's another project I've been busy with, I'm trying to get old retro games to run so I can do a retro racing uh, series. But anyway. Hope you enjoyed that, and hope you figured out how to install the Adega mod, the Spin Tires 1.10.17 uh, that comes with the Adega mod. The Adega mod doesn't require you to install Reshade separately, it's built in. So, he has modified Reshade 4.5, created specific settings, added a bunch of really cool options as you go through the installation. You can check a bunch of different items. Uh, I recommend at the very bottom of the list of checkboxes, you grab one of them custom shifters. There's one that looks like a rose petal, or a, you know, a, a, a rose. One that looks like a skull that you see Motor and Maniac using. Um, get yourself set up with the Adega mod. Play the game. Have fun. And I will see you next time. Game Brain is gone.